Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to our channel. This is Hakan Twan from Web News Team. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with our new released add-on called Seat. Using this add-on, you can define a layout for your venue and set different prices for different rows and have your users pick their own spots and purchase the tickets. So, Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video if you liked it, and also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Stay with me. Well, to begin with, after you've installed the sit add-on and activated it, you can simply go to my name is Calendar Settings, and in your settings you will see a new option or new menu called Seat. The first thing you have to do is to enable this module, uh, which is Seed, uh, on your Moments Calendar setting and save the changes. But it is very important to refresh the page after you've saved the changes so you can see the new options and features that are added to this uh, window. As you can see, there are two new menus under the Seed menu, which is Seed, and the second one is Import and Export. For now, let's just uh, let go of import and export and talk about seat. Let's just click on seats area plan here. And as you can see in this window, there are um, the other options for defining the layout for your venue. And when I say set up the layout for a venue, it means that we can uh, set the uh, plan for the seats in our location. So how are the seats actually placed there? so that our users can pick their own spots, the seats that they like. And somehow in this uh, window, in this pop-up window, we can see the preview of our layout after we have actually set it here. And for example, um, for my layout, I'll choose to, for it to have, uh, for example, three rows and um, 20 seats. And I can choose a, an area name for it. For example, here I'll write just area one as an example. You could also add a description for it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'll just add the area. So as you can see, there are seats and rows here. As you can see now, we have three rows and 20 seats in each row. Okay, now I'm gonna add another area called area two with two rows and 20 seats as well. So you can see now I have area one and area two. So now I'll just save the changes and as you see, uh, the layout for my um, venue is already created and actually ready to use. But the problem is that maybe you don't want your sits to be like, uh, for example, in a uh, rectangle form. So I want to create a kind of uh, in a specific particular form. So you can simply click on each seat and hide the display option for that seat and you can somehow remove that seat from your layout. So you can do that for any seats you want to you know, create the, the specific you know, form you want for your, uh, for example, area one here. It would be also easier because you can do it for the whole row as well by simply clicking on, for example, the row alphabet here, clicking on B can give you the option to, for example, hide the display uh, option for all the seats in row B. So as you can see here, all of the seats in row B are red now, so they won't be uh, displayed uh, on the front end. But I'll just cancel this for now because I need them. Also, you do have the option to display some of the seats as they are reserved or booked. So again, you can click on those seats and choose the option for them to book status and set them to booked. You can do this in bulk um, you know, action as well by clicking the row as well. Okay, now we have created our layout for our venue. Um, from the sidebar, right sidebar, you do have this setting option or that uh, gear option by which you can change the rows and the seats in your area one, area two, or any other areas that you create. Here I'll, I'll add one extra row to my area one, for example, and I'll save the changes. So as you can see, it has been added into my layout here. Easy. Um, it's very important to save the changes in the settings after you're done with your layouts. So you'll save the changes here. 
Let's get back to all events and here we can use the layers we've created in our events on the front end. So to do that, as you see, I'll uh, click on edit and enter the edit event page. So on this page, you can see that uh, you're almost at the bottom of the page. There's the new window called seat options that you can enable it or disable it. Uh, but this will be added actually here only after you've installed the add-on and also enabled it in the settings of Monum's calendar and set your, um, for example, layouts for the venues. And by disabling the inherit from global options, you can uh, tell the uh, in a plugin or add-on not to use the one, uh, the, for example, the layout you've created in the settings itself. So you can disable it and create your own, uh, for example, layout for your venue here right away. So this way you can have your, uh, for example, a different venue, a different sorry layout for your venue for each event. So in that event, you can just disable the feature for inherit from global options and create its own uh, layout for the venue of your event. Since I've already entered the information like description to title of the event before, I'll just publish it and click on the link to see how it looks. So you're in the booking um, window, you can see our section. I'll add three tickets here and I'll click on next. Here I'll write down my name and as you can see there's a new button here called select seats. So I'll click on it and you can see that this is the layout for my venue. I can see all the sets that I can choose. Uh, for example, in that auditorium, in that, um, in that, for example, location. So as you can see um, in my layout, I have, uh, you know, hidden those sits in the first row, I mean row A, so they are not displayed here. Also, I have set these three to booked. You can see three here that they are actually uh, displayed with a gray color. Okay, but here I'm going to choose three other sits, for example, A14, A15, and A16 for my three tickets that I, I'm going to actually purchase. And interestingly, I can't choose any more sets because I've, I've chosen to purchase three tickets in the previous step. And so when I click on them, nothing happens. Also, the address of the seats is displayed here on the right sidebar. So let's just click on confirm and continue. Just click next and submit. Now let's uh, consider changing the prices for each row of my, uh, for example, seat uh, layout. So to do that, the first thing that I have do, and, and as you can see, I can have different tickets like the special tickets and executive tickets. So to do that, first I've got to go back to the settings under the Monum's calendar dashboard. I'll just go to settings, click on import and export, and I will export the layer that I've already created for my venue first. After I exported the file, I'm actually using Sublime on my computer. So I'll open it with Sublime and copy the content uh, in it and get back to your edit event page. So it means click on all events, edit event, go to your event and go to your set options and click on imports and export settings in your edit event page on your, sorry, edit event page and paste that content into the import window. Now click on import button and reload the page. Okay, now when you click on this button, you can see that you have the layout for the venue here uh, in your edit event page as well. So here, for example, I want my first row, row A, for example, to use the special ticket. And here in the ticket menu, I can just use the drop down to choose the ticket that I've created in the edit event page. As you see, it's very simple. You can just create different tickets and your different tickets will be displayed here in this window. And from here, you can choose what kind of ticket you want to choose for each row of your layout for the venue. I'm just going to choose um, executive tickets for the my second array that I've created before. All right, after we are done with it, I'm just gonna click on save and update my page. Now, if I go back um, to my front end uh, of the event, and for example, I choose two tickets for a special a ticket and three tickets from executive tickets and click on next. This way, uh, you're actually allowing your users to, for example, purchase special tickets only for area one and purchase executive tickets only for area two. So let's click on next and enter my name 
and choose the sets that I want. So as you can see here, I can just choose two sets and I can't choose any more sets. And in area two, I can choose three sets because I want to buy three executive tickets. So you can see the address of the sets on the right side there and also the pricing for the total sum of the sets I'm going to purchase. All right, just click on next now and submit to purchase your tickets. That's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, uh, for the app I'm using for the codes to copy, I said its name is Sublime. I'm going to write down the name for it uh, down below in the video description and also uh, add the link for downloading it as well if you need it. So, see you in the next video. Thank you very much for staying with me up to the end of the video and thank you very much for choosing my name is Calendar. Please don't forget to ask any questions you have in the comment section down below and also give us new ideas for new videos in the comment section as well. Thank you very much, until next video.